there, join me today at RSPB Middleton Lakes. So I don't know what to expect from this morning. Um, it's a really cold morning. It's been down to minus three on the way over um, and it's still about minus one below freezing. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna find out on the reserve. Um, apparently it's quite good for overwintering birds and it does force some of the shyer birds out into the open to try and find the patches of open water. Now there may not be much of it today because it's gonna be very cold. Who knows what I'm gonna see? Come and join me and find out, but either way, I know that I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. So this is Editor Me coming to you from the future just to let you know that although the day did start off very slowly um, and the shots of the birds that I did get were fairly ordinary, I did start to see more birds as the morning progressed and I didn't even realise what I'd taken until I got home and zoomed in on the photographs and I realised that I'd got some fairly interesting birds including a water rail that I couldn't identify at the time so I'll put all of those photographs into the video and put the names of the birds along with them. Just behind me is a blind and the other side of it there are some feeders and so you can imagine this morning the feeders are really busy with lots of different birds. I've seen some goldfinch, robin, uh, blue tit, great tits, a dunnock, some moorhen, um, some blackbirds. So there's lots of things going on. It's really busy because everywhere is going to be frozen so the birds are going to be really really uh, grateful for the food that's being put out but when you're trying to take photos it's really important to try and catch them in a more natural pose, um, not on the feeders because it looks too artificial. So I've got some shots with the birds on the ground and a few with blackbirds out on the ice on the pond, which is quite interesting. And then there's also some shots where the birds have landed in a tree near to the feeders and that just makes it look more natural. I'm just walking through a patch of woodland at the moment and what I've decided to do is just stand still for five or ten minutes and just see what I can see. Now I've seen some long-tailed tits and um, some robins. Now I did see another bird that I couldn't quite identify because it moved too quickly but I know it wasn't a normal common bird um, so I'm just hoping that that might come back again. Standing still really does have benefits. I've just um, followed a nuthatch um, around some of the trees very close to me and it even landed on the fence about uh, four meters away from me. Um, but I wasn't expecting it so I just couldn't get focused quick enough before it flew off again. But it just goes to show if you're patient and wait there are lots of things to see. Middleton Lakes is a mosaic of meadows, wetlands and woodland and it's a home to herons, lapwings and kingfishers. Um, now today um, I've not really seen any of those but I'm going to keep looking. In this cold weather apparently there's a chance of seeing lesser spotted woodpecker and the frozen lakes force very shy water rails out into the open and even overwintering bitterns can be seen amongst the reed beds but just at the moment again I haven't seen any. Mm -hmm. 
So it's hard to imagine that this area was once a gravel pit. It was acquired in 2007 and has been managed to encourage the wetland to form and provide a really interesting habitat for a massive variety of wildlife. These reed beds here behind me need to be maintained um, to rake out any fallen vegetation, um, but it does encourage water rails and reed warblers um, to come and breed in this habitat. So there's lots of bird species that can be seen here, such as pockards, smooths and tufted ducks, but it's not just that. Throughout the year, you can see otters, butterflies and dragonflies, and quite a few rare plants as well. Now I'm gonna to have to search very hard to see anything today because of the very cold conditions and the frozen lakes, but you never know. If I keep looking, something might appear. things are starting to look more promising as I get deeper into the reserve I'm starting to see more birds I've just seen flocks of cormorant um, fly over I've seen an egret and I've seen a bittern fly over and I've just talked to another photographer that says the top lake where there's a hide is unfrozen so that's where I'm heading now Things are definitely improving now. I've taken some shots of the egret on the side of this river here behind me, and then it took off and I've got some shots in flight. Now, hopefully one or two of those might be quite good. And I've also spied an unusual duck that I'm not familiar with um, on the river here behind me. So I'll have to do a little bit of identification. And uh, when I've done that, I'll put the name on the screen. definitely going to have lots of identification to do when I get home. I've just spied another bird walking down the bank of um, this river and I think I might have got a photograph of it. Um, I've got plenty of photographs whether any of them are any good or not I'm not sure. Now I'm not even going to try and identify it. I know what I think it might be but I've been wrong before but also along this river. I have had a very quick glimpse of a kingfisher as well. So I don't know whether I'll manage to see that again. The bird that I followed down the riverbank was a water rail. I did think it might be, um, but I was just a little bit hesitant to identify it. Now the shot that I got wasn't the best because it was right under the vegetation on the bank of the river, but I thought I'd include it anyway because it is such a shy bird and a rare sighting. I've made my way to the hide and there is a patch of open water like the photographer said. Uh, there's quite a few birds out on the water so I'm going to have a scout around with the camera to see what I can take a photograph of. Oh well, that's the way it goes. There's not a lot happening at this hide. There is an abundance of coots. Um, I'm overrun with those. Um, I have seen a heron that I've got a shot of and some swans have just flown over. So I've got some shots of those as well in flight. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk back down along the river and then cut across and look at some other uh, blinds uh, and see if there's any signs of any life there. Hopefully I might see that kingfisher again. Just behind me here in the lake, there is a little island that's got a clump of teasel on it and there is a small flock of goldfinch feeding on all of the seeds in the teasel. Now it has been quite difficult to try and get a shot of a bird 
isolated from the background where it was posing nicely, but I think I've managed that. At one point, I did also manage to get five goldfinch, each on a different teasel head, in the same shot. This just highlights how important it is to walk about with your eyes really open and be aware of your surroundings. Because at the moment I'm on the way back to the car, but just in the top of this tree here, I noticed a bird of prey. Now I do hesitate to identify it um, because my identification skills are fairly rubbish, but I'll try and identify it before I release the video. And I'll put the name of it again on the screen but this bird has sat here for a good five minutes just surveying um, the habitat around it, looking for some kind of prey. And I've got some photographs and some video. I think I'm going to call it a day because quite frankly, I'm getting quite cold. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with some of my favorite photographs from the morning. Well, I've had a lovely morning here at Middleton Lakes. It hasn't been quite as spectacular as I hoped for um, because the lakes, as you can see behind me, are completely frozen and they just aren't the amount of birds I expected I might see. But I've still seen quite a lot of birds nonetheless and I think I've got some really nice photographs as well. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments and up over to my Vero account, that's at Deoctan Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so nip over there and have a look. It really does help me out. And don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, you can go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.